Sydney Thunder here. I'm excited to have another night where we're going to break into the 1970-71 Tops basketball set break cards from sportscards.com. I'm really, really excited about breaking into these. This is the second box. Uh, excitingly, I have two more boxes on the way. Uh, so we're going to break into those as well, probably uh, one next week and then the one week the week after. So I'm very, very excited to, uh, to, um, to see what we're going to find tonight, but also looking forward to the future as well. Uh, some of the key cards that you can find in this box, um, obviously the prized Pete Maravich rookie card is probably the best one to find. Um, also, what you can find in here are the Wilt Chamberlain and Lou Alcindor cards as well. They're also very, very, really, just really cool cards. Um, so if we can find those, that'd be pretty cool. But we're going to break into this tonight, and hopefully we'll get some really cool names. Um, but before we do that, as always, I wanted to just mention the future videos that are, are going to be happening. So, of course, uh, uh, Wednesday, uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to do the winner of the weekly vintage giveaway, our fifth edition. I'm very excited that this has taken off really, really well, and a lot of people seem to uh, really enjoy it. So we're going to keep on doing that. Um, Thursday, I pushed back the set building showcase that I was supposed to do on Sunday. So um, uh, we're going to do it on Thursday, and I'm still deciding whether or not I want to showcase the 76 Tops Baseball or the um, 81, 82 Tops Basketball. Um, so I've been kind of... Uh, putting together both sets. Well, the 81-82 I put together, but I had to rearrange the order because I had them organized by team, but I decided to reorganize them by number. So now everything should be organized, and I think I have every single card. So looking forward to that. Uh, Friday, we'll do another Junk Wax Pack Breaks, Quest for Jordan, Quest for Bonds, as always. And I think Saturday, I'm going to do, do a card shop antique store adventure. So We'll kind of go out there and see what we can find. Uh, but let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and break into these. Um, this is the exciting part, obviously, so we'll do that. Uh, last week we found the Oscar Robertson All-Star card, which was really awesome because I got to complete it with my uh, base Rob uh, Oscar Robertson that I had. So... <laughs> box down here. I'm going to do this off camera so you can't see. And here they are. They're nice and wrapped. So if you're curious about this box, this box comes with five cards and one guaranteed Hall of Famer. So I'm really excited to see who we're going to get this time around. Let's see if I can securely hide this. I'll put this on my lap because I think that's probably the safest bet. Uh, so of course we have the uh, bonus card. Um, so, put that aside. Kind of creating a nice, uh, nice stack of them. I'm trying not to look when I pick these cards out. So if I pick the star card out first, so be it. Pick them from the back. And first card we have is a Connie Durking. I've never heard of this guy. Connie Durking from uh, Cincinnati, the center. Let's look at his stats. Uh, pretty good player. He kind of turned into. He started off um, kind of slow. Uh, as far as points go, he was averaging like 6.5. So he must play, I think, Syracuse. I guess that was his college. I don't, I don't, oh, no, I guess Syracuse, they had a team, the Syracuse Nationals in 1958. Okay. And when he when he came to Cincinnati, he started kind of um, getting a lot better. 16.4, 16.3, 16.7. And he has, Connie and his wife have four daughters. Interesting card. Interesting. Um, did you know? Has a sweeping hook shot. Connie was the first round draft choice of the Syracuse Nationals in '58. After seven years, Connie finally got to the to the okay the Royals, the Cincinnati '65. Uh, yeah, Cincinnati Royals. After starring at Cincinnati in college, that's pretty cool. Kind of a cool coincidence. And it looks like he's from Valley Stream, New York. Um, very nice card though. This card is in. In an, is an impeccable shape as well. Good centering, good corners, really good surfacing. Just a beautiful card. It just pops. So that's our first one. And uh, I'm going to go for our second one now. And the second one is a Bob Dandridge. 
Bob Dan uh, Dandridge from Milwaukee. And this might be his rookie card or his second year. Outstanding rookie season was 1969-1970 for Bob as he was named to the NBA All-Rookie Team, a fabulous scorer as a collegian. Set school records of 53 points scored in one game, 27 rebounds in one game, and 21. Wow. I'm not, I won't go into the whole thing, but it looks like he had quite the career. Um, Bob's quick hands make for a defensive steal. <laughs> I love the uh, little uh, <laughs> the, 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 the robber with the, with the bag of basketballs. It's a very nice one. Bob Dandridge. Beautiful card. Just a beautiful, beautiful, stunning card. The blue with the with the uh, kind of like the minty green Milwaukee Bucks jersey. Um, very nice. And we'll continue on. Next card. <laughs> oh, wow. This is great. This is the Hall of Fame card, I imagine. The JoJo White. Boston Celtics. I've been looking for a JoJo White card, and this is great. Um, Joe Mapes, who's one of my subscribers, uh, left a comment talking about um, how, you know, picking your best point guard of all, you know, one of the best point guards. I mean, obviously, Bob Cousy, I think, holds that holds that torch, but Jojo White is probably second. Um, we were having a discussion whether or not Nate Archibald, Dennis Johnson, um, or Jojo White. And, you know, after thinking about it, I think Jojo White definitely definitely holds that, that uh, after Cousy. And, you know, he did a great job in the 70s. I mean, he, like, he took the, he, he, him and Havlicek and Cowens took the, took the Celtics to three champion to two championships in 74 and 76 and had, you know, great careers. Hall of Famer. And I think this might be his rookie card, actually. This might be classified as his rookie, which I'm really, really excited about because, you know, I'm a big Celtics fan and finding the JoJo White card is awesome. So this is a great find. He did it all in Kansas and was a prime force in moving the U.S. Olympic team to their gold medal achievement at Mexico City. Uh, complete ball player, great ball handler. And the did you know is JoJo missed part of last season due to marine duty. So um, definitely just a, a great athlete. Um, and a, uh, I mean, everybody knows what, what kind of career he had, so. This is my, my favorite card. Look at that the condition, too. I'm going to just go up a little bit further on this. The condition is, like, the center is amazing. I actually might consider getting this graded just because of the fact that it's just beautiful looking. So very, very excited about this one. But we still have two more cards to go, so we might uh, definitely want to show the other ones. And here we have, wow, this is very cool. Knicks win it all. This is an insert when the Knicks won this past year. So uh, I, I don't know who this is. I want to say, is it Earl the Pearl Monroe? I'm not 100% sure. Um, I can't tell, but it, this is a stunning card. Um, there's a little bit of corner action here, but not too bad. World champs, and it shows the final statistics in Game 7. This is a great match. I don't know if, you, uh, if a lot of you all know, but... This was the uh, series, I think, in 1970, yeah, where um, Willis Reed got uh, got injured or suffered an, um, an injury. And, I mean, Chamberlain was just dominating them through, uh, during, you know, when he was down. But Willis Reed, when he was healthy enough, he did keep Chamberlain at bay. And um, Game 7 was the famous scene at Madison Square Garden where uh, Willis Reed came out... Um, came back into the game and helped them uh, win the win the series. So it's a really cool card though. I you know I mean from New York it holds a lot of weight for me. So this is really cool to get the insert card and the Jojo White. It's pretty pretty cool. We'll finish it off the last card is we have Dick Cunningham, another Milwaukee Buck, forward center. Um, let's see what his stats. He was definitely a role player, probably came in uh, to substitute out for um, for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, I'm sure. But yeah, he's 6'10". Uh, he once ran two two uh, two and a quarter miles in in 15 minutes on a treadmill. <laughs> uh, he was acquired from Phoenix prior to the 68-69 season, and actually, so that was and that year was the Bucks regular center. Okay, so he did start in the 68-69. 
He ranked fifth nationally as a senior. Okay, so he went to oh Murray State, which I think had a good basketball team at the time. I don't know if they still do. I don't really follow college that much. But I know they had a decent team back in the day. Uh, he's from Canton, Ohio. So this is really cool. I didn't do this with Jojo White, did I? He's from St. Louis, Missouri. Cool. Kansas. This is awesome. This is an awesome box. I mean, I'm really excited about the boxes that are coming. And uh, it'd be cool to find the Maravich. I mean, one can hope, right? But the Jojo White rookie card, I mean, this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I got to show it again, man. I'm really excited about this one. The centering and the corners. Oh, this is so cool. Really, really thrilled about this one. Uh, so, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll go through just real fast. We've got Jojo White, Bob Dandridge, who had a nice career, Connie Durking, Dick Cunningham, and the awesome Nick win it all insert card. It's a great box. Highly recommend checking these guys out. Sportscards.com. Um, you can find some really, really great stuff there. Um, so with that said, <clears throat> there's still time, um, just a side reference, there's still time to do to uh, leave your mark for the Weekly Vintage, which is happening tomorrow, Weekly Vintage Giveaway. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button um, on the bottom right corner of your screen and make sure you hit the notification bell. Check out the video. That's going to be at the end card of this one. Um, it's for the Weekly Vintage, you can click on it to... Uh, find out who won last week and to find out which card is going to be potentially uh, featured for um, tomorrow. So, And you can leave a comment talking about your favorite outside hobby outside of baseball cards. So uh, collecting baseball cards. But with that said, thank you all so much for watching as always. I hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, have a great rest of your night. Take care.